We're now going to look at if statements in PHP and how we can actually use them to determine different uh, circumstances based on expressions that we pass through to if statements. So let's take a look at the basic syntax of an if statement and we'll pass in a couple of values um, and we'll basically see what happens. So an if statement starts with the if keyword and then we have an expression within two uh, parent or parentheses. Um, we then have an opening uh, or an open to our block and a close to our block. So within here is everything that will be executed um, if something or if this expression evaluates to true. So what's going to happen here is, um, well, let's just go ahead and just echo OK or something like that. So inside of here, what we can do is to test this, we can go ahead and pass a uh, one, for example. Now one is um, the same as true, uh, in a sense, uh, without type checking in place. So we just see OK output to the page. Now if we were to change this to zero, then we would see a whole different story, whereas the block has not been run. So this syntax isn't complicated if you've worked with programming lang other programming languages before. Um, but basically, this is an if statement in its most basic form. So for example, we could also say if true or if false, or we could incorporate values to variables inside of this if statement. So for example, admin equals true, we could say if admin you are an admin. So in this case, what we're doing is we're taking the value of a variable and checking this. And there we are, it says you're an admin. Um, we could also say if admin is equal to true, would still work. And we could also say if admin is equal to is equal to true, but with type checking as well. So this will check not only that it's true, but that it is actually a Boolean value as well. So for example, if admin was one, this wouldn't work. So being careful with type checking, uh, we know that we can now pass through an expression, however complicated we want it to be, um, and then we can output a value based on this. Now, for example, we can do other things like uh, use um, operators. So we could, for example, say age equals 24. And in here we could say, if age is greater than 25, you are older than 25. So in this case, when we refresh, nothing happens. But if we were to change this to 30, and we go ahead and refresh, this works. So whatever expression you want to put inside of here, uh, if it evaluates to true, then the block that you provide will be run. Now what we can also do is we can combine things in here, and um, we'll be looking at them a bit later, we can say things like and uh, one equals one, for example, but these could be variables or anything like that. So depending on how complex you want to get with the expression that you pass through, uh, is entirely up to you, but as you progress through learning PHP, you'll understand what you can use in here and what you can't. So let's just go ahead and um, leave this at if age is greater than 25. Now we're also going to look at if or, or else um, conditions. So in this case, what we can say is else, we want to say echo you are not older than 25. So in this case, what's going to happen is we're going to check this. If this evaluates to true, we'll run this and we won't run this. If this evaluates to false, we won't run this, but we will run this. So now if we refresh, we'll always get an answer. So you are older than 25. And in this case, I can say, for example, um, 18. When I refresh, you are not older than 25. So this is called an if else statement. Now what we can also do is we can incorporate checks along the way as well. So let's just say we want the person to be older than 25 um, and then we can incorporate another check here. So if age is greater than 25, you are older than 25. Else if age is less than 18, you are younger than 18. So in this case, what we're doing now is we're checking if the age is greater than 25 and outputting this, then we're saying else 
if the age is less than 18, you're younger than 18. So in the case of something being in the middle, so 20, for example, we don't get anything output because it doesn't satisfy any of the conditions that we've passed through to this if statement. However, if we were to change this to 30, you're older than 25. If we were to change this to 16, for example, it says you are younger than 18. Now what we could also do is we could say something like else um, something else and then if we were to put this in the middle of 25 and 18 then when we refresh it says something else. So there's really um, you know this is entirely up to whatever application you're developing uh, as to what the if statements are but um, yeah, essentially that's how an if else statement works. Now let's just take this back um, to the very basics. Now what we can also do is we can nest if statements within other if statements. Um, so what we can do is we can say if age is greater than 25, and then we can say if admin echo you are an admin and older than 25. Now this isn't strictly necessary because we could use um, we could use the and operator and we could say and admin so we could do exactly that in one line but let's just take a look at an example of nesting because sometimes nesting is actually required. So I'm going to say admin equals true and what we're doing then is checking if age is greater than 25 and then we're checking if we're an admin and in that case we'll get echo you're an admin older than 25 um, yes yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and run this okay so we don't get any output because we age we have the age set to 20 if we go ahead and set that age to 30 you're an admin and older than 25 so we can do this and we could nest perhaps multiple if statements within this main if statement um, so we could say um, for example else even on here you are older than 25 but not an admin so this is uh, you know interchangeable it's very basic functionality and it doesn't make too much sense in a real world application but um, oops sorry uh, 30 and false but basically, if you come across the need to use uh, if statements, you can look at you can well, which you entirely will in an application. You can look at it and evaluate how you want this to work. But basically, that is the just the syntax of working uh, with if statements in PHP.